than nothing Cause we got the fire And we're burning one hell of a something They They're gonna see us from outer space Yeah, I'm really sorry about Bob space, It's like nothing it serious up. No, it is Such a unique film It's just so extraordinary, right? I mean, how would you describe it If you had to describe it to someone? Um, someone said a messed up masterpiece, so I, I'll take that. <laughs> um, but it's a really strong um, international film. I mean, it's very European in its sensibility and it's very... Uh, but it's based on themes that are, you know, from the Greek tragedies, from Shakespearean time. It's got those, mm -hmm. those themes running through it which I love, you know, and I love being able to support Yogos with his voice and, and what he does in cinema. I think it's so important. I don't understand why I should have to pay the price, why my children should have to pay the price. How do you get into his dialogue rhythm because it's so sort of unique? He works on that. I mean, it creates almost like an altered reality mm -hmm. um, and it just starts to, initially you, it's, it's a bit jarring and then the way he just kind of, he slowly... Um, lulls you into this place and it's almost like it um, gives it that hypnotic effect so that then when things happen it's quite startling how they happen it's a unbelievably unique I mean it is contained you know um, and the lobster was very contained I think more I think this is maybe slightly more naturalistic but not much but enough I would hope to but uh, no it's it's uh, he's an incredibly <laughs> unusual director and tells incredibly awkward, uncomfortable stories that seem to provoke audiences into kind of a, a, a love-hate relationship. With his work, I don't know that anyone will ever leave a film of his going, eh, it was okay, I didn't, you know, it wasn't bad. It's either, seems to be either people love what he presents or are appalled, insulted by the existence of it. We should talk a little bit about your character because you're playing a doctor yeah. uh, that I guess holds life and death in his hands, right? I don't know if you even call it a job or a vocation or what you would call it, but yeah, a cardiothoracic surgeon who daily gets in there and opens up the human body like a cadaver and, and gets in and mends the heart. You know, it's, it's, such, a, it's such a profound way to make a living. Um, and I met a couple of surgeons when we were shooting in Cincinnati and spent a little bit of time with them. I mean, what are you going to learn but for what the energy is like in the, in the OR, you know? And uh, yeah, he's somebody who, my guy anyway, is somebody who, who has, you know, whose ego is front and center. He's, he has an arrogance to him. He's very proud of his family and he's living the American ideal, the American, his version of the American dream, even though he's an Irishman. Um, and then that dream bit by bit throughout the telling of the story gets pulled apart, gets shattered. Is it a tale of revenge? Yeah, it's a tale of karma, it's a tale of, you know, the human instinct for self-preservation, you know. Mm -hmm. There's some, I think, some maybe borderline comedic moments in the film where everyone is trying to make sure that they're going to be okay and at the expense of those even that they they love. It's the only thing I can think of as close to justice. We can light it up, up, up. So they can put it out, out, out.